Okay, here's Ronnie Boy responding to the pizza challenge. Here you go. Now, generally, I like to make my own crust and mix up my own and make my own sauce. But often there are times when I just get up from milking cows and I'm hungry. So that's what I'm going to tell you now. I'm going to give him my crust recipe or my sauce recipe. <coughs> I couldn't need one right now. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to respond to this challenge and giving you what I do when I'm really really hungry. I need a pizza now. Okay, here's what you do. Go out to the store, or preferably you already have some in your freezer, a tombstone pizza. <coughs> already had one. Very good for you. Okay, but I take a tombstone pizza, and I buy some Prego sauce. Prego's the best. I load it up with sauce. I love sauce. Uh, if I have a pizza delivered, I say, <coughs> the only thing I ask is load it up with sauce. Anything with tomatoes in it, good for me. Okay, <coughs> let me start again. I, I kind of screwed that up. Get a tombstone pizza. Because the crust bakes very nicely. It's not like my own crust, but I'm just doing this the fast way. <coughs> then you you pour a bunch of Prego sauce on it, about well, that much. Because I love sauce. You only have to sit on the toilet the next day, but <laughs> so what? And then I slice up a fresh onion. I put a whole bunch of onion on it, and then. Take the mushrooms, Just spread them evenly over it. Then, no, I'm quite an artist, and I gotta arrange them nicely. And then, and uh, um, olives. A lot of people like black olives. I'll take the green olives with the pimentos in them. If you don't want to spend the money to buy them sliced, you can slice them up yourself. Just as good. But it takes a little more time. But I can make a pizza in about 10 minutes. Well, get it ready. Then you got to put it in the oven. Okay, 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 okay. Then a uh, hamburger from the Wisconsin Happy Cows. Well, they're not happy anymore because they're, they're hamburger. But uh, hamburger. <coughs> and then I put some salt and salt it for the hamburger and the onions. Oh, I wait till after I salt it that before I put the olives on, because they're salty anyway. And, <laughs> and then I put some basil on it. And then uh, uh, Wisconsin cheddar cheese. I when I order a pizza, I order it with cheddar cheese, and it's usually an Italian fellow making it, <laughs> and he goes, "Ooh." I says, I want cheddar on it. Makes it good. <clears throat> That's the way I like it. Okay. Excuse me. But yeah, ch was Wisconsin cheddar. From the happy cows. Okay. Um, oh, and like I said, plenty of sauce. And top it off with more cheddar cheese. Not too much. I don't like a lot of cheese on it, but uh, just enough to make it pretty looking. And then you put that in the oven. It cooks a little longer than what the time says for the uh, for the frozen pizza, because it's got to cook through. Wait, you stick your finger in the middle. If it's not hot, it's not done. Then you take it out and you eat it with some old style beer. I tell you. Yum yum. Okay, this is my response for your challenge, yo yo. <laughs> okay, there you go.